and gentlemen, welcome to the Aspire Sports Show. I'm Tyler, and I'm going to be talking about some big injury news that happened over this weekend, and kind of how to replace some of these guys that unfortunately got hurt. So the first one here is going to be Odell. Um, Odell looks like it's a pretty significant knee injury, they're saying. Uh, it could possibly be an ACL. The football doc, if you don't follow him on Twitter, said that he thinks it's an ACL injury. Hopefully he's wrong. There wasn't much video um, on this injury here. Not that many angles, so hopefully, fingers crossed, but what to do if you have Odell. So the first person I'm going to talk about is, why don't you kind of want this person on your team anyways? Past three weeks, 13 receptions, 258 yards. Who is it? Tim Patrick. Tim Patrick for the uh, Denver Broncos. A lot of people think Jerry Judy's the guy. Really, Tim Patrick has been playing really good football. I've talked him up a lot on my show. Yes, he didn't have that great of a week this past week. I think it was like three catches, 44 yards, I believe. Um, it wasn't that great, but it's going to get better with Drew Locke coming back. Yes, it was against Kansas City. They do actually do have a good secondary, so I expect him going forward to be a good play. Other person here, Rashad Higgins. He didn't have that bad of a season before Odell came. It was him and Baker, and they kind of picked that up. He had six catches, 110 yards. So me personally, I think he's in play um, if you're desperate. And the next two weeks gets the Raiders in Houston. So pretty good matchups there. Next person would be Marcus Johnson. Uh, I don't believe he's very high owned. Plays for Indianapolis. Kind of is their deep, deep target now um, in, the, in the passing game. So last week, well, not last week. Well, yeah, last week, just prior to this week, he played Cincinnati. Uh, five catches on eight targets for 103 yards. So not too bad, but maybe Cincinnati's the trend and you just want to pick somebody up for this week. So Corey Davis plays Cincinnati this week. Yes, A.J. Brown, but Corey Davis here uh, saw 10 targets this past weekend, had six catches. So an option against uh, Cincinnati, who's been giving up some points to the wide receiver position this past couple of weeks. And they also averaged the most passing attempts. So probably a back and forth game here. Let's go into the other running back, well, running back news now, and that's Chris Carson. Chris Carson and Kenyon Drake, I'll start with Chris Carson here first. Chris Carson is going to get an MRI on his foot. He has a foot sprain, and they're going to get the MRI to determine how long he's going to be out. And let's, fingers crossed, hopefully not too long. As a Chris Carson owner, hopefully not too long. And then I kind of talked about him on my video yesterday, Kenyon Drake. He, which it did come out today, negative um, x-rays were, were negative. So that's good. But he's going to get an MRI to determine how long he's going to be out, possibly high ankle sprain. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll know here soon. So what what to do with these two guys if they miss time? I mean, the first option is definitely Chase Edmonds. I would, if he's available, uh, spend every fab buck, fab buck you have on him. Uh, waiver priority spent on him. He's he's the top ad. Next would be Carlos Hyde, depending on how long Chris Carson's going to be out. Carlos Hyde. Uh, the, those are the first two guys because Carlos Hyde looked like he was kind of the guy in the offense once Chris Carson went down. Now, those two, I know, I'm sure probably Carlos Hyde is probably available. Chase Edmonds probably not. So Carlos Hyde first. And then Jamichael uh, Hasty would be my next option here. He, I thought McKinnon would be the back here, and then it's Jeff Wilson, and then Jeff Wilson looks like he has a high ankle sprain, so he's going to probably miss some time, go on IR. That will be you know, the full extent of his injury will be to determine the next couple of days here, so we'll see what happens. Um, Jamichael Hasty, I definitely would pick him up because he looked like he was the back after you know uh, Jeff Wilson got hurt, so... Do we know who's going to be the back? I know Tevin Coleman might be coming back soon. I thought Jerry McKinnon was going to be the back. It's I think Hasty going forward is going to be the guy, though. So if he's available, go and pick him up. The next option here would be, uh, don't feel good about this one, Michael P. Ryan. Uh, if you need an option, Adam Gay said he's going to get him more involved, which he has been more involved the past two weeks now. Has 11 carries this past week, two catches. Not great. But they're going to be playing Kansas City. I think he's the preferred back out of the backfield. Um, so they're probably going to be down early and by a lot against Kansas City. So maybe some options, maybe some catches in like PPR leagues, even standard if you're desperate, right? This is desperation. And the last person I'm going to talk about is going to be Wayne Gallman. Now, this also depends on Devontae Freeman, how long he's going to be out. He did get hurt on the Thursday night game, didn't come back in the game. I don't know what the severity is. Check that. You know, 
Maybe Wayne Gallman's dad, he kind of looked like the back in the backfield after Freeman went out, and he looked decent. He does get Tampa Bay, though, so that's not a good matchup. But he should have some catches out of the backfield. They will probably be down early as well in this game, and he actually looks like he looks pretty good out of the backfield catching the ball. So some desperation ads here if you're desperate, you know. Um, but I believe in you. As, as I said in my other video, I believe in you. If you have any questions, please follow us here. Follow us on Twitter. We have a Facebook page like that. And, you know, we'll give you any advice you need. So leave it in the comments below if you have some questions. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.